The German sports sedan has become an iconic car type thanks to a decades-long history of smooth, good-handling vehicles from BMW, Mercedes, and Audi. New for the 28 model year, the revamped Audi S4 exemplifies those characteristics, and it should give an entirely new generation of car enthusiasts a sedan to lust after. How does it look? The S4 takes the handsome yet conservative looks of the A4 to a sportier place. The optional red brake calipers under 5-spoke 18-inch wheels are a quiet nod to the increased performance of the S4, while the tango red paint job is decidedly less subtle. How's the storage? With 13 cubic feet of space, this trunk is right smack dab in the center of average for the luxury compact segment. It's not huge, but it's still more than enough space to put in a couple of golf bags, a set of luggage, or a week shopping. I like the wide bin under the center armrest as a place to dock and store my phone and some sunglasses. And I also like the little bin for the key. Otherwise, there isn't a tremendous amount of surprising storage in the cabin. Is it roomy? The front seats are nice for someone as tall as I am. For starters, they sit quite low to the floor and they have a really generous bottom cushion extension for thigh support. The rear seats are typical for the class, meaning smaller humans will be okay back here, but bigger folks will feel cramped and no one will want to sit behind me. How does the interior feel? Now, the A4 already had a really stylish, premium-feeling cabin, and the S4 just sort of builds on that. These quilted leather seats especially emphasize the sportiness of this model. Is it well-equipped? All S4 models come with some really premium features, like LED headlights and interior lighting, a Bang & Olufsen stereo, and massaging seats, perfect for unwinding after a hard day of driving fast. Audi Drive Select is also standard, letting you choose between four different driving modes. My test car is also loaded up with Audi Virtual Cockpit and MMI Navigation, both part of the $3,100 technology package. There's also the adaptive dampers, sport rear differential, and dynamic steering that come with the S Sport Pack. How's the infotainment system? As I mentioned, the optional virtual cockpit is present here, and it's one of my very favorite branded infotainments. All of the systems are easy to access from the steering wheel controls, and the big screen in the instrument cluster keeps my eyes facing forward. The inclusion of Android Auto and Apple CarPlay mean that everyone should be able to use the tech that they like best. Is it a good daily driver? So currently I've got the car in comfort mode and for all intents and purposes, that means that this S4 drives just like an A4. It's got smooth ride quality, uh, definitely all the power that you need when you need it, but it you know doesn't overwhelm you or beat you over the head with the fact that it's the sports model. In fact, it's enough like the A4 that if you really wanna know what it's like to drive on a daily basis, I highly recommend that you go check out our y -Buy on the A4. Is it fun to drive? So before I start talking completely about whether or not it's fun to drive, let me just go ahead and put drive select mode in dynamic. I need all the dynamism I can get right now. Woo! All right, so on the downside, it's still a little bit too quiet. That was about as loud as it gets, and you guys aren't hearing that. But the fact is that there is a ton of power coming from this supercharged 3-liter V6. It's 354 horsepower and a healthy 369 pound-feet of torque, which makes the car feel very able. And while there aren't the kinds of roads and corners here in Detroit around the office that I need to show you the utmost level of grip from the car, believe me when I say that I've driven it on a few good roads and it gets the job done. Ultimately, there's a good reason to spend ten dollars or $15,000 more over the A4 if you really like driving aggressively and have something that will reward you. Beyond the fact that the controls are a little bit lightweight and there's not a lot of feedback, the S4 is a car that most enthusiasts are going to enjoy. How's the fuel economy? 
The S4 drinks premium at around the same rate as its performance-oriented 3-liter V6 competition from the other luxury marks. 30 miles per gallon on the highway, 21 city, and 24 combined are all near the top, but not the best in the segment. How much is it? Base MSRP for the S4 is $51,400, which is within a grand or so in either direction of cars like the BMW 340i xDrive and the Mercedes-AMG C43 sedan. Only the all-wheel drive Jaguar XE 35T really undercuts it significantly for roughly the same performance. Our car comes fitted with two big options packages and various other add-ons for a total of $59,550. What are the negatives? While the S4 is definitely quick and grippy, it's not especially emotional. So for 50 to 60 grand, a lot of shoppers are gonna want something that's louder, more plugged in, and rear wheel drive. Who should buy it? If you're looking to be a part of that German sports sedan heritage, but with a car that's as friendly and flexible as it is fast, then the S4 is worthy of your attention. It may not look like a true sleeper when it's this red, but believe me when I say that this is a fun car you can drive every day.